What's up guys, welcome back. Today is gonna to be a Sephora and Ulta haul. These are things that I've purchased. I'm gonna get right in because I have a ton. So if you guys like monster drinks, this is a new flavor. It tastes less like poison than the usual. Um, it's the Ultra Paradise. It's like fruity. But the first thing that I got was the new Natasha Justin Bieber palette. That's what I call it. Did do a review. If you have not watched it, I will link it below so you guys can know my thoughts about this. It's a great neutrals palette. It's very pigmented and I think it's like universally the one that people are going to buy because it's is the most neutral and you can get kind of like the most looks out of it. So if you are, um, if you're looking for a new neutrals palette, that one is fantastic and I will link my review below. Next thing I got was a Buxom Lip Gloss in Dominique. I actually like these <laughs> because they don't make your lips look like they have cum on them, to be honest. Um, these are very cummy lip glosses and this particular line, which is the polish, they don't, they don't leave that like creamy milky texture on your lips so that's why i wanted to try this because the other ones which i do like some of them they're just too creamy if you know what i mean and then like when you talk then it like leaves string i don't know it's just kind of like gross so this is a little bit better and a little bit not so semen like glam glow sent me this this is their glow essentials mask plus moisture all of their mask in a travel size they are cleanser and then their moisturizer so cleanser and then moisturizer uh, so this is a really good travels kit or if you're wanting to test out glam glow and what each of their masks does this would be a good one to try because you can you can test all of them out next couple of things I did try this and I actually really like this this is the new milk the hydro grip primer this is really nice because I kind of was expecting it to feel like the cover act gripping primer will be slightly tacky and I don't want to say drying to the face but just thick and tacky I mean it is nice this is different I feel like this is hydrating and it's on the thicker side but it just makes your makeup go on really smooth and nice I've actually been really enjoying that the next thing I purchased was this glow recipe Ooh, this watermelon glow ultra fine mist and this comes in like its own little ziploc Bag. Oh, this looks like a dildo or like some type of sex toy. What does it smell? Ooh, ooh, that smells nice. It comes out really fine. Like I almost can't even feel it at all. That's kind of a waste. I actually really like it, but I feel like nothing's hitting my face. Oh, there we go. I don't know. I think I, I think I'm digging this. So, I'll test this out a little bit long, a little bit more. But it does give your skin some moisture, and it smells amazing. It smells like watermelon. The next thing I got was this Caudalie um, Vino Perfect Glycolic Essence to go with the, the glycolic cream that I bought. I've been really enjoying this as well. I feel like it's a gentler way to exfoliate your face if you can't take harsh toners or peels at night. This is a good one to try. Um, this is a really nice one to try as well. Switching gears to Ulta for a little bit. I got two palettes, these Lime Crime palettes. And I was, seriously, I gotta open this one up. Oh, this is so pretty. You don't even need these, but this is just warm neutrals. I think this is gonna be so nice for summer. This is the first one, and I think that the next one is what I'm wearing right now. And this next one, um, I just think it's just so different. Oh my gosh, super pigmented. Incredibly pigmented. The formulation's slightly drying. So yeah, this is super nice. Totally digging that. So what? So that is the Venus XL palette, and then I got the XL2. This one, I absolutely obsessed with because it's so different. I don't have anything like this one in my collection. All of the colors in here are just like earthy, earthy hippie colors. I don't know why I think of that when I think of this palette, but almost like a garden. Like you should be like just walking around dressed in like leaves or something. That's what it reminds me of. Really pretty. If you had to choose one of these, I I'm just saying like if you're like, oh, I want to try them out, but I don't know which one, try this one. I feel like that is super unique. That's probably 
why and then I just wanted to get this one too on super excited about those next couple things I got another butter bronzer from physicians formula and I got the shade bronzer I thought that this is the one that I had the whole time but I think this either might be a new color it might not be okay so this is the shade bronzer I have the light shade I think this is a shade darker and it's just as buttery smooth oh i like this shade you guys this is more neutral i feel like the light is a little bit warm oh, this butter line i think is awesome so that is butter that is the shade bronzer and then i got another one of the benefit bravo conditioning primers i swear this had this has made my eyebrows grow in a matter of like a couple of weeks. I just feel like they're fuller and she can tweeze them easier. So there is definitely something to this. It's my second one and I really am gonna continue to use it. It also helps your um, eyebrow products to go on better. Since it is a primer, I do feel like it's easier to apply them when I use that. It's a really good product. I wanted to try this out with the Urban Decay Naked Foundation, but they sent me the wrong foundation. They sent me 7.5 and I think I'm 2.5, so I sent it back and I'll just go to Ulta and buy the other shade. But my friend who works for Urban Decay said that this is a really good brush to use with that product. And um, let me just open it for you so you guys can see. Ooh, yeah, this is super soft. I like those. I feel like that's so edgy. I just like how... Look at the um, design right there. That is cool. This one, I, I got these two products when I was in Vegas, and this is a brand new brand to me in Sephora. I don't even think that I've seen them online, but they probably are. This is from the brand Kaja, K-A-J-A. -A. Does that look familiar to any of you guys? So I got a concealer and a brightener. The concealer is, I got the shade five. Why did I get five? Fuck, did I? Get the wrong shade mm, that might be too dark shade five i don't think that that is right i think i grabbed the wrong one so this is the don't settle under eye concealer and this is the catnap which is the brightener and that is just kind of like a salmon color i thought i got oh and that blends out really nicely too i got the mark jacobs velvet primer i wanted to try this out because it looks so so good and i think it's sold out Our mascara primer and that's what it looks like and this is more of just like a nude color and then the last two things i got were from sephora i got so becca came out with some new lipsticks and she came out with ultimate lipstick love they're not totally matte but this color i think my friend got it and michelle wong got it as well we were all like we need this shade immediately called truffle and that is the packaging this shade is so pretty and this looks good this shade looked good on all of us i feel like this is going to be pretty much flattering on everybody because we're all different skin tones and it looked really good and then the very last thing i got was a Ciate illuminating blush in too deep Ugh, that's what she said this, these are like tiny like this is almost like a travel size like look at this travel size cute blush this is called in too deep this is the shade oh my gosh you guys seriously it is so stunning oh it's almost more of like an illuminator but it's a really pretty pinky mauve blush luminosity to it but it is so pretty this would be good as like a light blush if you're fair or a blush topper or even a highlight if you're dark settling like i feel like it's very smooth so this is another really good product that is all i hope you guys um enjoyed this video please subscribe don't forget to leave me a comment and i will see you next time